Hi, I'm Tim Little, and today I'm going to show you today how to capture your VHS tape footage, anything you have on VHS tape. You can how you can put that on, not only onto the computer, but how you can let the computer in in specific Pinnacle software I'm using, Pinnacle DVD recording recorder, to put that onto a DVD and to put that onto a disc. So the first thing you got to do is first you have to have one of which I just dropped. You have to have one of these which is like a converter which has RCA ports on it where you can plug in the red or the red well actually I'm using uh, an alternate you can plug red into yellow but this is actually see yellow red white and I got white to white actually I got red to yellow like I said so that, that's my video core because I, I really don't have a yellow video core okay and then that goes in there those two go in there and then you have to have it plug into the USB port because uh, that's how the computer is going to recognize the device plugged in and of course, in the other line, you must have your VCR in if you have those RCA ports. VCR is over there. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Pinnacle Instant DVD Recorder. There's one. Of, there's one of this. This program is present on the software here at Luther. There is um, there are what's known as Pinnacle Studios. Also, it includes this uh, this software, but I don't have the studio. I just have the DVD recorder alone, and it's going to give you the options. You can let the wizard guide you which is recommended, or you can go to advanced mode if you really know what you're doing. If you kind of just want to put it on the hard drive and maybe save it for later and not record it and not put it onto a DVD right now. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, wizard guide me because let's say I'm new at this. You hit next. Select your source. There's really not much of an option here uh, because pretty much you, the, the program knows what the source is right away it gives the by default the first thing that it recognizes which is my DVC 100 that's this thing it automatically picks this up right away so so pretty much there's no that's pretty easy to, to manage uh, however you can click options which is right below or next to or in the vicinity of your video source so that you can adjust your brightness level your contrast level saturation hue all that stuff you can obviously adjust the video input um, if you want S video because there is an optional S video port on there. And um, you can tell it that if it's a VHS input to record a little bit differently to adjust to the VHS tape if for some reason it's not recording well. But that's, those are all advanced features. Use for 99% of the time you don't have to worry about that. And again, here's the preview. You see the referee, I don't know if you can see it, the referee tossing the coin. This is a football game actually I have on here. I don't know if you can hear it or not. And that just shows you what's what's actually playing on the VCR right now. That shows you what the device is at, where the device is at in, on the tape. And when you're ready, when you're happy with that, hit next. I'm going to hit stop on the VCR for now. So it doesn't keep going. So I want it to start up right around after the coin toss. We're assuming that. I mean, I'm going to, I want to record the, a, um, a, a Super Bowl game I had on one of my NFL football games. Okay, now it says detected DV recorders. Now, it'll come up with your DVD recorder on it. By default, though, it comes up with the hard disk folder, meaning this, the actual hard drive on the computer. The computer, the program instantly notifies you that you can put it onto the hard drive. That's the easy part. But then, if you have any DVD burners that happen to be on the computer, what you can do is you can select that from the scroll down list. And then if you have any other drive, like a flash drive or whatever, you can just browse from the folder. Uh, but let's put it on a hard drive for now. Hit next. And then what you can do is if, I mean, if you're making a DVD, you can, you know, put menus on there. You can put, you know, chapters, uh, subtitles, all that stuff. Customize your menu, put music in, stuff like that. Uh, and I don't want to include menus, so no. Okay, and then you get here, and uh, this is actually step four, which is called uh, start recording. In other words, start capturing is another word for that. And you can select the total amount of recording time rather than you having to manually hit stop on the remote control of the VCR. You can tell the computer when you want the computer to stop capturing. So actually, I'm going to put down three minutes. Uh, adjust your video quality. Good, better, or best. Uh, automatic is probably the best. And then you hit play. And then you just start recording. Yeah. It, okay. It'll start recording. So, okay. Right now, it's capturing it. It's 
is capturing this football game right now. Not sure why I don't have sound. I should have sound coming out here. I can mess around with that later, though, I'm sure. Everything's hooked up correctly. So if it doesn't get sound, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you'll figure out how to get sound. I mean, I'm just, for right now, I'm just showing you how to capture mostly video. Because in this video, sound doesn't really matter because it's just a football game. You know, it's a football game. The commentators aren't that, all that great, really, so. But you get, so that you get the general idea. Okay, actually, I'm going to stop it a little bit early. I'm going to stop it at 47 seconds. Okay, and it'll say burning complete. You can now play it in a DVD player. Okay. What would you like to do now? Start over or exit? I'm going to exit. And uh, what it, when it burns it to the when it burns it to the hard drive, obviously you can select a folder where you want it to, to to save to or burn to or write to. In my case, I selected the desktop, and it, it's going to be under a folder called Video TS. And the files aren't going to be in; uh, they're going to be in a unique form. You, you see what's known as BUP files, which are kind of like DVD files because this is a DVD writer program that I was using. You see IFO files, which are another you know, another technical, real technical type of file. And, and then you see what are known as VOB files. Um, usually Windows Media Player doesn't doesn't react too kindly to that. I have one that will play that though. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm gonna show you the VOB file, which is what, what exactly would go on the DVD if I if we were just to go to DVD right away. If I weren't to burn this on the hard, if I weren't to burn this on the uh, hard disk, this w is what would be on the DVD. And actually, we did get sound. Okay, so, and that's another thing. You might not get sound in the preview, but after you write it to the disc or whatnot, you will you will eventually get sound. So just keep that in mind. The preview might not always give you everything. You have to remember that. Okay, so that's that's pretty much all there is to it. You ha you just have to you have to have really a good connection. You really have to have good quality if you want these to be. Okay, done. Okay, um, so that's all there is to it. As long as you have, really, as long as you have a connection to the USB and something to go through to hook up your RCA cables, you should be good. And um, now you can go capture whatever you want. You can capture whatever's on your tapes. Uh, and if you can be you, obviously, with tapes comes, you can hook up DVD players to this. Just don't go around violating any copyright laws, and you won't get in too much trouble. So I'm Tim Little, and thank you for watching. And now you can go out and capture all your own stuff. Goodbye for now.